Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on Gran Turismo 7. We're back with an absolutely amazing race at Fuji, taken from the demo events. Now these races were so good. They incorporated a new slipstream system, which was actually easier to follow in high downforce and a much better rolling start, which we're gonna show you now. So yeah, if you do enjoy this video, take the time, smash that like button. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this race, because this was one of the most enjoyable races I've done in quite some long time and it really does open up the question can we get some more races like this because this was truly one of the best experiences i've had on gran turismo we've also got another race coming in a video so make sure you subscribe if you're interested in watching that one at spa with a bit of dynamic weather and that also was a really fun battle but let's take a look at this new rolling start straight away as we watch the replay camera footage here i'm starting from p7 and okay qualifying in a very decent lobby here we've got some world tour drivers that have made it to world tour events in this race some very quick drivers but you'll notice straight away how much closer the cars are compared to normal daily races and what they normally are like in the gt world series so this is incorporating the live final settings which shows you that they can do it so yeah let's get this into daily races let's get this into the gt world series for everyone to race with because look how close this is so much better battling straight away from the start you're not left 20 seconds behind anyone and straight away at turn one i break a little bit early there we're right in the middle of two cars a little bit of lag from uh, i think it was somi there I don't think there was actually contact it looked like lag with somi in another car but we get ourselves up one position up into p6 and a fairly decent start it's always good to gain a position but it looks like somi is clearly on harder tires there so we're going to try and go around the outside of him now and this is what i love about this race different strategies all three tyres are required in the race. 30 lap race, 45 minutes about in distance. And you have to use all three tyres. Now this meant actually you had to run the hard tyres for a decent amount of time. You can see there, we were able to get an overtake done purely because we were on mediums versus the hard tyre. And one massive, massive improvement for this race. As we see someone absolutely losing control of their car. Big crash for that car. Was the ability to follow another car. You can see it straight away when you're watching the footage. You know, when these cars are normally on at this combination, you'd see massive wash off on the front end. You'd see that understeer. The car would not bite in. But it was so noticeable how much better it was to follow other cars in this race. And let's hope, fingers crossed, it's going to be like this in all future races in high downforce um, when it comes to the slipstream and following drivers. Because you still gain time in the slipstream. It was just easier to follow and it made the it actually made the racing feel more authentic as i have a massive moment there bit of a mistake there right at the start lap two got on the power a little bit too early these cars were really really tricky on the throttle and that's going to drop me down to p6 again so losing a position not what we wanted but let's keep going you've got a long race this is what i'm saying longer racing more ability to make up for little errors like that so we're going to skip ahead to lap five and we're behind ace again you can see managing to stay with him not really dropping off that normally you'd be dropping off to like one second 1.2 seconds because of the dirty air but now you're able to follow us he has another moment there similar to our moment loses a little bit of control of the car we're going to try and go around the outside here can we make that work not going to happen tucked up underneath trying to get a better exit through this long right hand corner and again just look how much easier it is to follow another car able to stick almost right on the back of that group one car through the really fast sector which i have to say you wouldn't be able to do two months ago on this game so like i say fingers crossed this is going to be a fix that's going to come into every race for high downfall from now so we're going to have a little look off the inside here not going to be able to make that one work would have been a little bit optimistic into that braking zone and now we're just going to try and follow through this sector and see if we can take advantage anywhere else can we put him under pressure right up behind them and this is the thing because we can follow there's more pressure on drivers to not make mistakes and as we come through here looks like ace goes a little bit wide there but he manages to tuck it into the apex and now we're going to pick up that slipstream again for this back straight so trying to go in very narrow here to try and pick up a bit more slip but that's going to compromise me slightly on exit as i just can't put the power down and you can see the advantage that ace gets in front he pulls away now we're going to skip ahead a few laps later we're still following him putting him on the pressure in that slipstream and he has a massive moment there runs off wide gets the dirty tires and that is me back up to p5 we've got a menti behind us that was looking very quick as well he's always very quick on fuji and as we come through the final corner i think that a menti is going to get right in that slipstream to ace 
and make that move. So skip into lap 10 and we've now got a Menti behind us, you can see there. And I decided to go for an extra lap on these medium tyres. You can see they're quite faded, but decided let's go for one more lap on the mediums and then try and go for a little bit of a you know stint at the end. Gives you a bit better tyres maybe towards the end or one lap less on the hard tyre. So up into the lead of the race, but technically not really because other cars have pitted. We haven't. And now we're going to go into the pit lane. Obviously, being cautious, we don't go over the solid white line because that's an instant free pe second penalty. However, on the pit entry, we do hit the wall there, luckily to get away with a penalty for the contact. And we're going to go with the hard tyres for this stint. Amenti actually, I think, pitted a lap earlier than us. So he's now going to be coming down the straight with warmed up hard tyres. Now, this is the thing. These tyres do take a lap to build some temperature up in them. So out the pits, we're still in P8 and luckily managed to stay ahead of Amenti there. But we do need to try and build some temperature up in these tyres. So skipping a little bit further on here. And you can see Amenti getting a little look up the inside there. He's managed to get quite a good run on this back straight now. And we're going to have to go defensive. So over to the right hand side. Try and break that slipstream a little bit. And let's see. Will he have that slipstream to be able to pull him all the way alongside and go for a move in turn? Well, he's definitely got a lot of speed out of that slip. And now we're going to be going into the braking zone. Can we break in time? It looks like that's going to be a bit difficult. So I decided to just tuck him, try and see if we can get a bit of an uh, undercut there on the entry into the corner and get a better exit. But no, it's not going to work. And we're going to go back down to P7. Now we've got Ace behind us, who is approaching very, very quickly. My guess is he's actually put on the soft tyres on that middle stint. And you can see the advantage he's got. Now this is the great thing about these races. Different tyres, different strategies. It really does, like, you know, it requires you to be thinking all the time. So as we come through here, I was kind of going to let him go there. But then as we're getting on the power, we're just going to stay to the right side. I think Ace just tried to come over a little bit too early. But I wasn't trying to actually battle him at that stage. But we'll take to the right-hand side now just try and make sure we break. We don't want to lose too much time to a mentee. We're going to let Ace back through at the earliest opportunity, pretty much, where we don't lose too much time. So I didn't really want to fight him at this stage. You're going to see. So as we come through here... We're going to let him through on this left-hand corner because you get a lot more grip through this left-hand corner. So you can see there, on soft tyres, give him the entry and then tuck up behind him and try and follow his slipstream down the straight to get a little bit closer to Amenti because we don't want Amenti to pull away from us. It's pretty clear that Amenti's on the same tyres as me and it's pretty clear that Ace is on the soft tyres. You can see the traction that he's getting out of them final corners. So now we're going to skip a little bit further ahead and we can see they're battling at the front and Amenti battling quite aggressively with, with Ace on the soft tyres and that's actually losing him a little bit of time. You can see again, he's going to go for a move up the right-hand side and again, a bit of contact between them and again, both just losing time there. So this is helping me out. It's getting me a little bit closer to Amenti again and you can see I'm right back in that slipstream and possibly we can get a slip and think about going for a move. So skipping ahead yet again to, I think it's nearly halfway, just over halfway through the race and Amenti's right in front of us now. Can we have a little look up the inside here? A little bit too far behind, but he's picked up half a second penalty. He did cut that corner ever so slightly there, and that is going to mean I'm going to get the position. So as we come up to the penalty zone, he takes a penalty. We're back past him, and that's all good for me. We're up into P6 again. Now we've got Corn Beef going in the pits off the soft tyres. He's gone for a different strategy there. He's going for the hards, obviously, to the end. Now, or the mediums, I'm not too sure what type. Possibly the mediums, actually. Now, we're going to go in the pits on lap 20 here. This was super risky. Amenti is also following me. We're going to try and do 10 laps on the soft. Now, I hadn't tried this, and there's a good reason for it, because I shouldn't have done it. I think the better strategy for me was eight laps. We obviously, this was our first actual proper race all the way through to the end. Um, we did do more races after this where we knew the strategy a little bit better and actually picked up a bit more pace than we had, what we had in this race. But... We went for the 10 laps, and as you can see, I went really aggressive at the start. You can see, putting in some pretty solid lap times, not far off the fastest lap in the race. Amenti started to drop back a bit. Amenti was clearly saving his tyres. I wasn't. Now, this might come to hurt us, but you can see, it did mean that we could catch up to Ace pretty quickly, as he is now on them hard tyres, and we're on the soft tyres. And you're going to see, Ace isn't going to fight this too much. He's just going to let us go up the inside. We're just going to take the inside line, and he's going to just tuck up behind us and try and follow us as much as he can on them hard tyres. But these tyres were wearing incredibly quickly, as you're going to see in a minute. So skipping ahead now to lap 26, and you can see my tyre wear. It's not looking the best, let's be honest. And we've got a Menti right behind us, who has clearly been doing a little bit of tyre saving. But one positive change with Gran Turismo that they made was that when these tyres die now, they don't completely die off. 
they just lose a lot of grip basically in terms of understeer and they just don't they still give you grip in terms of traction they just lose you a lot of pace through corners and stuff so you can kind of fight still a little bit with tires that are fading as you can see there my tires starting to look very second hand as we work our way through this long right hand corner you can see the advantage that Amenti has clearly got now he's got so much more grip through these fast corners but we're not going to give up on this we're going to try and hold on to this p5 and battle this out there's no point giving up we've only got a few laps to go and it's annoying that we're actually starting to we look like we're catching up to p4 i'm getting quite close to p3 also so if we would have maybe have done a little bit longer on the hard tires could have been very interesting towards the end of the race if we would have had the grip to go all the way to the end on these soft tires but you can see it's fading massively our lap times are starting to fade and now our concentration isn't really on catching p4 up it's more about defending from amenti and trying to keep him behind us so again into this corner trying to take quite a wide line get it tucked in with the downshift the first gear and then get on that power and try and get some good traction off the final corner which we managed to do quite well there you can see picking up quite a nice exit speed and actually we've got enough there to defend into the braking zone he's not going to be able to go for a move so only three laps to go and you can really see this is going to turn into an absolutely insane battle i have to say make sure you watch this all the way to the end because this was truly amazing and this is again why we need more of these races so entertaining absolutely brilliant stuff different strategies people doing different stuff it's just one of my best experiences on the game i have to say so you can see into this left hand corner he had a little look there he's gonna back out of that one and try and get a better exit now off that corner you can see the traction that he's getting compared to me he's definitely got more traction more cornering speed we've just got to defend this as much as we can hold the inside line hold the apex and just be very patient on the throttle so that we don't lose control again Brakes a little bit late there but that's compromised slightly but what i do do is get back onto the throttle and pick up the exit speed from that chicane and then into this final technical sector and this again you can see the front end washing off got to be very cautious into this corner hold the tight line because if he went for a move up that inside it'd easily be able to make it with that better tire life that he's got so again we have a little look to go wide here and try and get a solid exit and it looks like Amenti is incredibly close now we get quite a good exit though again managed to get the power down but he's going to pick up that slipstream all the way down this straight now and possibly be able to go for a move into turn one let's see if he manages to do this you can see he's picking up the slip getting a massive amount of drive off of that car now he's clearly going to go past us and we're going to just try and break as early as we can and see if we can hold the inside line now down to second gear for that better exit speed because when the tires were fading second gear was better out of that corner and it's actually helped us there keep in p5 so not giving up on this one we're fighting this one to the very end and you can actually see look at our tires now we have got no front left hand tire completely gone we've got two laps to go and we're fighting this to the very end this is absolutely insane racing and one of the th reasons why i love gran turismo you get such great racing in scenarios like this with the tire wear multipliers different tires and stuff like that and with the 30 lap race it really made this race so much better so again into the braking zone can we manage to hold him off there he's not close enough now and at this stage it looks like his tires are also starting to fade a little bit so that tire saving will only do you so much but it is looking like his tires are getting pretty second hand also you can see as he gets on the power he's getting a little bit of understeer as well now into this final sector he's going to try and go wide and try and cut back and get better exit speed from that tight left hand corner and now we're going into the final corner i knew he was going to go up the inside there so we're going to go a little bit wider let him take that you can see i give him the space but just try and tuck up behind him to pick up the slipstream because this is our only chance we have to fight back with the slipstream so he's going to try and break the toe down the straight we're going to just try and follow him and try and see if we can make a move and get back past him so again we've got the slipstream can we somehow make a move here so we're going to go for a little fake up the right and then go back to the left because we want him to break late here which he does do we're going to go down to first gear then second gear and try and use that second gear to get back past him which amazingly it actually works with no tire grip we managed to fight that one back and put ourselves back up into p5 for the final lap i don't care about the win in this race this is all about this battle absolutely insane racing on this final lap can we hold on to it you can see he still has that little bit more grip than i've got through the long corners but he's definitely fading because you can see as we come to the exit he just can't put that power down as much as he was before and now it's just going to be a case of can we defend this on this last sector of racing so staying to the right hand side we're going to try and break nice and early get the car slowed down 
and then just concentrate on exit speed. So got it slowed down, now get it in second gear, hold the apex on the throttle, and again, we've managed to hold on in that corner. Just a few more corners to go to try and hold on to this position. He's definitely gonna go for a move on one of these corners up here. You can see again, he's gone wide there. So we're gonna follow him wide and try and get a good exit off this left-hand corner. And now into the final corner. Again, I don't, I cannot hold the tight line. My both front tires have completely gone. So I decided to give him the space again and then try and get into third gear early and get a better exit speed, which it does do. We get that better exit speed and it's a drag race now all the way to the finishing line, which we are gonna manage to take. You can see just ahead of him and go over the line for a P5. What an incredible battle that was. If you enjoyed that race, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, let me know in the comments what you thought about and if you've enjoyed these longer races that we had as demo, demo events. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Brilliant racing there and also managed to gain a few positions in that race with strategy choices, obviously some overtakes. I managed to come away with 321 points, so not too bad. We did actually improve that, I think, in another race, but yeah, that race was just so much fun. I had to upload that one. So let me know, chat. Did you enjoy it? Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you all soon for more live streams and videos in the future. Bye, everyone.